We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, faithful acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is, is a Lily Logger. There she is. Lily Logger. Just hanging out, pointing at her name. So, this is, they call it a Pilsner Sriracha Hot Sauce. Now, I spent a lot of time in the written review, which is available in the description down below, Whining about the use of sriracha. Four out of ten? No, 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 no. This is not a four out of ten. So, sriracha is a very specific style of sauce. And sriracha does not do this. Right? That, that does not happen with sriracha. There is no xanthan gum in this. So you can see it separates constantly this is honestly just not a super well formulated sauce but we start with cayenne chilies american lager carrots cane sugar white vinegar garlic and salt so of those things the chilies the sugar the vinegar the garlic and salt actually do belong in sriracha carrots doesn't make any sense to me and beer really doesn't either. And I would, I, the pepper, I'll give it a pass. But I guess all this stuff collecting here on the neck is probably carrots. I, I don't actually know. See, it's very runny. There is a restrictor cap, which it definitely needs. And let's see here. Whoa. It does tend to come out a bit sloppily, as you can see. So... Uh, it sticks okay. There is enough sugar in here that this will leave particulates everywhere. But it does like to separate, even on the food. I don't know if it's going to separate here in the spoon. Probably not, but you can get a look at it. It does look like pretty much your standard cayenne sauce. I mean, visually it's fine. No problems there. So, on to the taste. I had not tried it by itself until this point. That's really unpleasant. Slightly vinegar, somewhat beery. Not really beery, just more funky vinegary. Little bits of carrot pulp in there. Now that's not that's not enjoyable solo. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see it started to separate actually here in the bottle again. This this is a so the thing with novelty sauces is a lot of the times they're taken as nonsense sauces. And I'm hard pressed to say that this one shouldn't be. This is not a very good sauce, if I'm being honest, but. So, a lot of times, if a sauce is really egregious to the point where I never want to eat it again, then I will not do videos on it. But th this one is funky and I don't enjoy this and I, I'm really, Probably not going to finish this bottle because sometimes you get a sweet beer taste out of it as well, which is really somewhat off putting. So, anyway, when it's you know, something is supposed to be a novelty sauce, a lot of times, like I said, it, it gets taken as nonsense. And this one is just part of it is, is the issue with this. This is just slapped together, kind of a cool looking. Funky little labels put on it, you know, ooh, pinup girl. And all that's well and good, but cayenne sauce is not a high bar. <laughs> you need, you know, cayenne vinegar and salt. You don't really need anything else. 
and uh, that they managed to miss that pretty wildly. But they say, okay, well, it's probably a, a shit cayenne sauce, but maybe, maybe if we call it a sriracha. Hey, okay. all right. So what I've got here is tempera shrimp. Sriracha should perform the best with Asian foods. It works really, really well in that setting most of the time. But this really does not want to stay together. So, tempera shrimp, we'll see how it does. It's one of the big problems. That's not a good way to try to eat that, by the way. So let's just, here we go. I don't care how much of this I'm going to use because I'm not, like I said, I don't know if I'm ever going to finish this bottle, but. Let's just douse these so we can make sure we get the actual flavor. Beer. I don't know where this is supposed to be used. I'm really baffled as to what they intended this for. Beer and Asian foods isn't really a thing. You're really looking more at a style like Europe. You know, especially a lot of the Germanic nations. You know, honestly, I think I sort of wrecked these a little bit. You know, where you would normally use a Louisiana style, so where you're not going to call this a sriracha. It is way too off putting to try to use with Asian foods. Asian foods are really a lot of time about salty. And this annihilates that. But when you think about cayenne, you're me, you're thinking about Louisiana style sauces. So where does that go? Greens. Creamy sauces, like a mac and cheese, something like that. Fried foods. Now the question is, do you want beer, especially a sweeter beer, because there's sugar in this also, do you want that in that type of foods? And for me, the answer is no. So I, I don't know where this is supposed to be used. There, there's almost no heat to this, and the flavor is just ishy. I'll call it ishy. That's kind of where I'd put this. So it, it's not horrible to where it's, you know, just something I want to avoid putting in my mouth again. I just, I haven't found anywhere where I've used it and I went, yes, that's what I want. That's the kind of sauce I want to eat. That's the flavor I want to add. It just hasn't happened yet. And I really don't know... If I'm going to continue attempting to find where that might be, uh, I'm not sure that's a worthwhile prospect. So, but you know, and had I seen them taking a shot at sriracha, I, I honestly probably wouldn't have gotten this. Sriracha, I've certainly eaten my fair share of, but you know, same with Louisiana style sauces. That's why I, I get kind of fussy about those things, but. This one, just as a novelty sauce, sometimes you find some that are okay, but honestly, I don't think I've ever really had any that have gotten much higher than that sort of low bar, including this one. This one is definitely not worth getting, and I'm not sure if it's going to be worth eating again. So, But uh, there it is, the Lily Lager Hot Sauce.
Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.